Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice, and today we're going to talk about what actually is a gastric bypass surgery versus lap band, and an interesting effect called GLP-1 effect with gastric bypass that aids in control of diabetes in diabetic obese patients. First, let's go ahead and draw the stomach and in the first part of the intestine. So here's your esophagus, the swallowing tube. Your stomach kind of looks like this. And your stomach is here. This is your, called your duodenum, the first part of the intestine. Um, and then the jejunum, the middle part of the intestine. So what we do with gastric bypass is they actually cut away the stomach like this and they separate it into two pieces. Now they sew this up next, which would then be what's called a blind pouch. So if you ate food, it would get stuck in this little pouch here and would not be able to go into your intestine. They make an incision here and they cut the bottom part of the uh, duodenum and the first part of the jejunum and they actually then pull that distal part of the intestine up and they attach it to your stomach here. We have now what's called a blind pouch and we want this blind pouch connected so we, put, we attach that down lower here. So what we've in effect done is we've reduced the size of the stomach by about three quarters. We have a small pouch. Um, instead of just making it a small pouch and emptying here, we actually will disconnect the intestine from below, bring it up and attach it. So food comes down the esophagus into the small gastric pouch and it bypasses the duodenum and attaches into the jejunum. We have to attach this portion here back to the intestine because your stomach makes gastrin and juices and things and so does your duodenum. So the mucus and stuff that's created here is actually uh, transposed down uh, lower into the intestine as well. We'll contrast that with the lap band. And lap band is way less invasive, a little bit different procedure, but much less effective. So in lap band surgery, You've got the esophagus, the stomach, the duodenum. They take a band and it looks like this on the side. It's got a little balloon in the middle and it ends, ends up being a circle. And they strap that around here like that. And what that does then is that makes a very similar pouch that your food comes in and sits in the small pouch of the stomach, it is a narrower opening, but the food actually comes through the band and into the stomach and empties and goes along the normal route. So the biggest difference other than gastric bypass is a open abdominal surgery. This is done laparoscopically. They both end up with a small pouch that you eat and it fills up quickly. The biggest difference is, is that with lap band, you still use your stomach, you still use your duodenum, whereas with the gastric bypass we talked about, um, you bypass the stomach and the duodenum and the gastric pouch empties into a more distal portion of the small intestine. With the lap band, that's a balloon in there, there's a little tube that's attached and there's a port that they put on the skin and they can actually take a needle and put water in or take water out by just going under the skin. And what that does is that inflates this balloon and makes the opening smaller. They can take water out and make the opening greater so they can change the effect of how much of a restriction you have to eating. So where this is significantly different is that it turns out that when we do a gastric bypass, diabetes and weight control actually is greater almost initially. And you can't explain that because of weight loss because in the first month you have not lost a lot of weight. There's a hormone called GLP-1. And what GLP-1 normally does is when you eat food and the food is presented to the intestine, your body, your intestines actually release GLP-1 and that stimulates your body to make insulin to lower your blood sugar. That interestingly actually decreases hunger and increases satiety and that slows the emptying of uh, food out of the stomach. And these are all great things that would help you lose weight. There's a class of drugs that includes Bieta, Bidurion, Victoza that mimic this GLP-1. So take it as an injection, they stimulate this. 
Where it's interesting is, is that we had no idea, but when we take food and bypass the duodenum and take that food and put it directly into the jejunum, that actually stimulates an increase in GLP-1 from the intestines, and it's almost like taking a diabetic medication and the weight loss benefits of that along with the gastric bypass. Over time, because you're eating much smaller portions, you start to lose more weight because of this, but this is an effect that only happens with the gastric bypass. It does not happen with the lap band because the lap band still uses the normal route, the duodenum and the jejunum, as opposed to bypassing that proximal portion. Talk to your weight loss doctor about this. You would have a bariatric surgeon that does both of these type of procedures, the risks and the benefits. The gastric bypass is generally irreversible. They could put the pieces together, but that's a huge surgery. Uh, the lap band is reversible and can be adjusted with the saline and the tightness of the ring and can be taken out at a later time. I'm going to do a separate video on another topic that is a non-surgical approach that mimics gastric uh, bypass by putting something down your throat. So look forward to that as well. Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.